So let's think of 30 as 3 tenths. Does everybody see how 30 equals 3 tenths? We had the sticks, we would have 3 ten sticks, right? 3 ten sticks is 10, 20, 30, okay? So instead of saying 20 times 30, we're going to say 20 times 3 tenths, which means 30. If we had 20 times 3 tenths, how many tens would we have? Raise a quite. How many tens would we have, class? 60. 60. 3 times 20 is? So now we have 60 tens. And we learned in chapter 1 and 2 that 60 tens is, is like saying 60 of these 10 sticks would actually be 600. That's using place value, by the way, because we're using the tens here. It's like looking at our place value chart over there and doing 60 tens equals 600. Remember if we had our place value like this? Tens, ones, what goes over here? Hundreds. Right, I can't fit it, but that's where it goes. Hundreds. If we had 60 tens here, what goes here? No, my, I'm right here at 60 tens. If I have 60 tens here, what goes here? We don't have any ones, so then our number is 600. That's using place value. That's one way we can do it. So another way to think of 30 as 3 times 10. Remember we did this associate property before where we say, okay, 20 times 30, and remember we did the little tree, the little carrot down, the little triangle, equals 3 times 10. That's how we showed it. They're showing it like this. 20 equals 3 times 10 with a 3 times 10 in parentheses, which is really how you should show it. 20 times 3 times 10 with the parentheses, which means you have to do that when? First. first. The parentheses mean you have to do those first. Times 10. They just, oh, I see what they did. They did the associative property and said that instead of grouping these two first, we're going to group these two first. So instead of grouping these two first, we're going to group these two first because we're doing multiplication all the way. Is that where we're you? Okay. So now we're going to do the 20 times 3 first. What is 20 times 3? 20 times 3 is 60. 20, 40, 60. And then we have the times 10, which is? 600. Think about it. 60 times 10, which is just like saying 60 tens, which is? 600. Okay. So this that's where they're using the associative property, where you can... Um, Change which ones you do first by just moving the parentheses. When it's all multiplication, you can change which one you're doing first just by moving the parentheses. Okay? So 600 frames would need to be drawn. Okay, we have not really had a lot of experience with the number line, but we're going to talk about, um, we're going to try the number line today. And I'm going to show you how multiplication works on the number line. So once your pencil's down, so this is a new skill plus a new strategy. Um, when you're multiplying on a line, Shane, I need to pay attention fully. Put the pencil down. Um, when you're multiplying on a number line, you're going to skip as many times as it's telling you to times. So looking at this number line that they give us, what number are we counting by, first of all? Two. Two. Twos. So when they're using the multiplication problem, 15 times 20, do you see how this number line can work? Raise your hand if you understand how, for this problem, this number line can work. Raise your hand if you think you can explain that to me in words, why that number line would work. The number line helps because um, there are 15 times. It's Okay, so I got that you said that there's at least 15 numbers on here, so we can jump 15 times. And why would it work with for the 20? Do you know why it works for the 20? You can add a zero to like this number, and then you're counting by 20s. Yeah. Okay, that's exactly why. So we're counting by twos the first time without the zeros. Um, so we're going to pretend like we're doing this problem first. 
Okay, 15 times 2. We start at the 0, and when you're multiplying, you jump that many times. Ooh, right in my elbow. So I'm going to jump. I'm going to try to do this so you can see it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I jumped 15 times and I ended up on what number? 30. 30. So 15 times 2 equals? 30. Okay. Now I can take the 0 because my multiplication problem was 15 times 20. And once I understand how to do this, I don't even have to write out 2040. I know in my mind, I can see that this is 2040, kind of like Ethan was explaining before. You know, you know already that this is 20, 40, 60, 80, 10, uh, 100, and you can see in your mind. But we can do it on the number line that's already printed for us um, and do the same exact thing and jump 15 times across at the 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Some of you know how to count by 20, so that actually works. Um, and we end up on 300. So 15 times 20 is 300. Also very similar to what we were reviewing yesterday when I gave you a, a number that was like this, 8 times 2, and then 8 times 20. Remember when we had the patterns yeah. and then I tricked you? Yeah. It's the same idea. If you can do that first multiplication problem, you can do anything that has zeros after it. Yes. Say it one more time. It's pretty much like doing the one with the zeros? Yeah. You mean when I do this one? No, I'm talking about when you do like 15 times 2 equals 30, then you do 15 times 20 equals 400. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Okay? Yes, that's what we just did. 20 times 15 equals 300. Okay, so this is using a number line. So, so far we've done, oops, not the right page. We did using place value, that was this one. We did using the associative property where it didn't matter which, we broke down 30 into 3 times 10, and then we changed the order that we were multiplying. And now we've done using a number line. So these are three different ways. Again, this is one of those things that you would have learned all of these strategies in different grades, but you're getting to learn them all in one year because you guys are so super smart. Um, use mental math to find 14 times 30. In this example, they're using halving and doubling. Remember when we did that in Chapter 2, halving and doubling? We don't know maybe, maybe we know what 14 times 3 is, but maybe we don't. Let's pretend like we can't figure out 14 times 3 really easy. So we're going to do half of 14 because we know it's a double. What is half of 14? 7. seven. seven. Do we know how to do 7 times 3 in our head pretty easy? Yes. Yes. What is 7 times 3? 21. 21. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do 14 divided by 2 equals 7. That was the halving part. Now I'm going to do 7 times 3, which is? 21. 21, and that's 21 tenths, so that's 210. Am I done with my problem? No. This is where some of you guys get confused with the having and doubling. You have to make sure to double the answer back. So you do 2 times 210, or you can just do 210 plus 210, remember? That's how I think about it when I do it. I think of, oh, it's double 210, it's 420. Was that all stuff that we could do in our head, pretty much? Yeah. Yes. Using mental math, you're not, your pencil should not be going. Okay. Using mental math to do it in our head by having and doubling. Okay? So that's another way. Who could think of another way that we could do two-digit multiplications that we've already learned a trick for? Ethan. No? Okay, what's a different way? Times 
Oh, two times twenty one and end up with forty two? By by the tens? Okay. What if I did um did someone else have something else they wanted? Sean, did you think of a different way? One thing is about my own. The other thing is about um I think you can do it in addition. You can do it in addition, and that's exactly what I was thinking. The ten remember this? Ten plus four equals fourteen. Um, and then we do that whole thing times what was our number? 30. And then we could do 30 times 10 equals what? 300. Plus 30 times 4 is 120. Good think time. And now I could do 300 plus 120 equals 420. So we can also do addition. We can also do subtraction, which some of you were struggling with on the test, remembering that Obviously, this one wouldn't work good for that problem, um, but you could do 20 minus 6. How do I get 20 minus 6 for that? Raise your hand if you can explain to me in words why 20 minus 6 would work. Even though we wouldn't go that route because that's, it doesn't make sense on this particular problem, we still could do that. Why? How can we do that? Six plus fourteen yeah. equals twenty. So this is just another way of writing fourteen. Remember how we did those? Okay, but we're not doing that one because it doesn't make sense for this problem. <laughs> All right, look at number. Try this. Look at number. Try this. It says use mental math to find twelve times forty. How many know your twelves? Be honest. Know your twelves. Okay, if you know your 12s, you would probably just do 12 times 4. If you don't know your 12s, raise your hand if you can explain to me a different way we can do this. Libby. 10 times 4 and then do 2 times 4. Okay, so I'm going to write it like this. It's 4 and it's 10 plus 2. I'm going to do it this way so that we make sure that we um, everybody's understanding what we're doing. It's 4 times, and then we're doing the addition method, 10 plus 2. So we would have 40, we do 4 times 10, which is 40, plus 4 times 2, which is 8. It's 48. Is that my answer, though? No. No, because I wrote this wrong. It should be 40. So this should be 400, and that should be 80. So I'll write it again. 40 times 10 is 400, plus 40 times 2 is what? 80. 80. And that equals 480. Okay. So we can do that. Did anybody think of a different way besides the addition? And besides just multiplying 12 times 4? What did you think of? Who else wants to? Yeah. I just lined up 12 times 40 and then You multiplied it old fashioned with regrouping. And then 2 times 0 and then 2 times 0. Okay. Yes, how did you do it? You can half it and double. What's half of 12? 6 times 40 equals 240. And now I have to double it, and I get 480. Okay, so you can do half and double it for that. Yes. Okay, can we go there in a minute? Okay, so I want you to, oh, this one tells you to use place value to find that. Place value is when you have to think of this number in in tens. Oh, so four times twelve is four times ten. Forty is how many tens? Four. Four tens. So do twelve times four tens. So do it on your. Go ahead and catch up in your writing and do the this problem on your paper. So if we do this place value using place value to find it. We're going to be talking about that 40 equals how many tens? Four. Right, it equals four tens. So we have 12 times four tens. What is 12 times four? 40. 48 tens. And then if we use our place value, here's tens, right, and ones. We're going to put the 48 under 48 tens. How many ones do we have? Zero. Zero. So what's our number? 480. 
480. Okay. Who would like to share with me out loud the method that they used? Rachel. Nice and loud. Addition and which numbers did you use? Did you use the addition on? I did twenty times twenty plus seven. So twenty times twenty plus seven. Correct. Yeah. And then so then we do what numbers do I multiply? Um, 20 plus 20. Which equals? And then I do what next? Plus. And then do I just add 7 or do I do 20 times 7? What am I supposed to do? 20 times 7, right? What's 20 times 7? 140. And then if I add those two, I get 540. Raise your hand if you did something different and you would like to share. I did half of me doubling. Okay, which number did you have? I would assume the 20. The 20. Okay, and so you had 10 times, which equals? And then? Okay. That's, and that's how my brain works on that one. I would have done that one, but that doesn't mean that's the right way. Everybody's brain works different and, and things work differently for them. Nicholas? You used place value? So can you walk us through it and tell us how you did that? I did 27 times 2. 27 times 2. Can we put it in the word so we keep track? To, how, to what? 27 times two tens, right? Yeah. Okay. So 27 times two tens, and what did you get? It was 15 by 10. It's 54. 54 tens. And then if you put it in your place value chart, tell me what you did there. The 54 tens and 0 ones. 54 tens and 0 ones. Okay. That's place value. Did somebody do a different method? Oh, no. Subtraction. Subtraction? Oh, okay. So tell me tell me what you did. Twenty times thirty and then let's do the rest of the subtraction up here so we can keep that. You did thirty minus what? <coughs> minus three. Okay, so you then you did twenty times thirty equals and then what's going to go right after the six hundreds? Okay. And then you did 60 because that's 20 times 3. And you ended up with, there you go. So that was a subtraction. Did anybody else do a subtraction way? Tony and Bella? Okay. So subtraction works. So far we've done four different ways. And there's still other ways. Who did a different way? Okay. 